This is not abandonment. This is not an evacuation. Uh, this is not the wholesale withdrawal. Your morning news now on this Friday. The Pentagon is sending 3,000 combat troops back to Afghanistan. The first group will arrive within 24 to 48 hours to start pulling out American diplomats. The U.S. is concerned the Afghan capital could soon be under Taliban attack. The Taliban continues to move quickly, capturing more major Afghan cities. The troops will help airlift more than 4,000 State Department employees and Afghans who worked for the U.S. during the war. President Joe Biden signed off on the plan, but he remains committed to ending the U.S. mission in Afghanistan by August 31st. The FDA is authorizing an extra dose of the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine for people with weakened immune systems to better protect them from the virus. The announcement applies to millions of Americans who take immune suppressing medicines because of organ transplants, cancer, or other disorders. The decision does not apply to otherwise healthy individuals. Health authorities are closely monitoring if and when the general population will need a booster shot, but say for now the vaccines continue to be highly effective in mostly healthy people. Former President Donald Trump is endorsing Derek Van Orden, the Republican running for the congressional seat currently held by Democrat Ron Kind. Van Orden was also endorsed by Trump in 2020, but lost to Kind by three points. Kind announced Tuesday that he would not seek re-election. Trump carried the district by nearly five points, making it a prime target for Republicans, even before Kind made his announcement. After months of public pressure from supporters of Britney Spears, Jamie Spears, the singer's father, signaled in a legal response Thursday that he intends to step down as conservator of the singer's estate. Jamie Spears has been serving as the co-conservator of his daughter's estimated $60 million estate for more than a decade. During a hearing in July, Britney said she wanted to press charges against her father for, quote, conservatorship abuse. And if you're getting ready for that morning commute, it's looking good. Got some cooler temperatures to work with this morning. Mostly clear skies and expect more of the same here. Mostly sunny conditions by the afternoon. This evening is also looking good. It's been a week of severe weather. The village of Norwalk is in repair mode after a tornado with 100 mile per hour winds touched down Wednesday. The tornado knocked down trees, damaged buildings and destroyed a barn and nearly wiped out all of the Norwalk Sportsman's Club. Club Vice President Mike Rapp and others had been renovating that building for several years. The project was almost done and Rapp says he was devastated after seeing the damage. The club plans to create a GoFundMe page. You can find that on the club's Facebook page. Happening today, Irish Fest returns to La Crosse's South Side Oktoberfest grounds. Music, food and cultural events kick off at 4. There is no vaccine requirement, but organizers are encouraging fest goers to wear a mask. Also happening today, CoolyCon returns to the Lacrosse Center. The three-day celebration of all things gaming starts at 1. Anyone showing signs of COVID-19 will not be allowed to enter. A mask is recommended and free COVID-19 vaccine clinic will be held on Saturday and Sunday. The Hunger Task Force of La Crosse and the Salvation Army will hold a drive through food distribution later today. The free event starts at 3 at the Salvation Army Warehouse on La Crosse's south side. La Crosse's Bliss Road will remain closed a bit longer than expected. It was supposed to open yesterday, but the streets department says weather forced the extension. It is now scheduled to open at 10 o'clock this morning. Ashley for the Arts is currently underway in Arcadia and runs until tomorrow. Masks are not required at the outdoor event, but visitors are asked to follow CDC guidelines. Anyone who has COVID-19 or symptoms is asked to stay home. There will be COVID-19 vaccines available on site. And as we head into the weekend, it's going to be a nice one. Mostly sunny conditions with temperatures in the low to mid 80s and more of the same is expected next week with very slow rain chances in sight. And just a note for you at home, Jennifer Livingston is on vacation for the next two weeks. So Derek and I will be back with you Monday morning. We want to thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. CBS This Morning is right after us here, and we hope you have a great weekend. We're back on the air at noon, 5, 6, and 10 tonight. Have a great day.